Hey, hello here. I'm going to attempt to read through the Bible this summer. Um, this is Luke's sketchbook. I put these drawings together during quarantine time. Um, and I am, I've been reading about the wise men, but I got, I ordered Luke's sketchbook, my book on Amazon. Uh, let me know if you want one. And Luke talks about Zacharias. So I'm going to skip over to Zechariah, uh, Luke. There's four Gospels about Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And they all say different things, but essentially mean the same thing. Uh, Jesus was born and died and rose again. For us, God so loved the world. Uh, so this is Dr. Luke. Since I have carefully examined everything from the beginning, it seemed good also to me to write an orderly account for you. Luke 1, 7. Elizabeth and Zacharias had no children, child because Elizabeth was barren and they were both well advanced in years. So these, this is verses here and there that I've drawn out of Luke. Mark sketchbook has every verse. Uh... So Zacharias and Elizabeth, Elizabeth was barren, couldn't have any kids, um, and they were old, advanced in years. His Zacharias lot fell to burn incense. So it was his job to burn the incense. And the whole multitude of the people was praying, were praying, was praying outside of the house of incense. So he was like a temple priest, a temple leader. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, and Zacharias was troubled. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. So it's a house of incense. There were many people outside. I guess they were worshipers. And Zechariah, I think, is an, uh, the same name as Zac Zachari Zacharias. The angel says, don't be startled. And Zechariah says, like, whoa. He's in the temple. How? Zechariah ha said, how can we have these children? What are you talking about? Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. And you are to call him John. How? Zechariah asked. And now you will be silent. The angel said to him, because you did not believe my words. So <laughs> Zechariah is mute. He can't talk right now. So Luke 1, 7, they could have, Elizabeth and Zechariah, Zacharias were barren, couldn't have any kids. He was, Zacharias was a priest burning incense in the temple. Angel came to him and said, you're going to have a kid. And Zacharias is like, what? How? And so he was mute at that time. Luke 124, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months re remained in seclusion. Luke 137, for with God nothing is impossible. So she went from barren to pregnant. Pregnant Elizabeth. Very exciting, praise God. Now in the sixth month, an angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man, engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. I don't think Joseph was there at the time, but she was. Mary is a virgin. Hadn't been married. Hadn't slept with anybody. Pledged to Joseph. Engaged to Joseph of Nazareth. So Gabriel came to her. They said she's 16 years old. I, I don't know if that's tradition or... I don't I haven't read it in the Bible, but I'll ask around. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. May it be to me as you have said, Mary said. So it's like, yes, whatever God has for me. But she was probably like, wait, what? <laughs> so... This is her cousin Elizabeth, got pregnant as an older lady, for nothing is impossible with God. And then Mary, in another town, the angel comes to her and uh, 
says you're going to be pregnant with the Holy Spirit and have the Messiah, I believe. May it be to me as you have said. I don't know if he says you have uh, the Messiah, but you'll be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Um, so Mary sang a song. I like this. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. So there's a magnifying glass. My soul magnifies the Lord in my inner part and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliest state of his maidservant. He looks upon his maidservant, his daughter. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed or blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me all generations my children's 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 will call me blessed happy mother's day mary henceforth all generations will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. And holy is his name. I have a little, what do you call that? Halo. And holy is his name. I don't think halo is mentioned in the Bible, but I mean, maybe it means holy. Holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. So this is my grandfather, Ma, mom. Mercy will be for me, to my children, to my children's children. He shows strength in his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. So those God wants somebody humble, not proud. He scatters those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. That's Luke 151. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has brought down rulers and might, those mighty rulers, brought them down from their throne and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He fills up the hungry with good things, but the rich he fill, he sends away empty. He has helped this, his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever. He has helped Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever. So God has blessed Israel and his descendants. I guess Mary was Jewish, I presume. I should know that. And Mary remained with Elizabeth, her cousin, for about three months and returned to her house. Okay, have a good blessed day. Talk to you later.